to you today from McHenry County, Illinois, where they have a barn quilt program going on. Made of wood, the barn squares are painted on with the design of a quilt and then hoisted on the side of the barn. Unfortunately, we are experiencing some technical difficulties. We had a video of Mrs. Marler's interview, which was lost, so instead we'll be reading from the transcript. Mrs. Marler is the widow of longtime Springfield DA and later Mayor Ross Marler. She's had a long and varied career, including being a best-selling author, but her heart is in PR. In her current job as restaurant manager of company, she is a driving force behind a new Springfield-wide publicity campaign. Mrs. Marler explained, now the roof is fixed and renovations have been made, we're reopening the Cooper Boarding House. It still sounds funny to say that. It was always the Reardon Boarding House to me. Anyway, so Frank, Kevin, Jason, and Clarissa and I made an antique rent over to Iowa looking to redecorate it and discovered all these counties have, have things called barn quilts. We don't have many barns in Springfield, even the one at my brother Hart's old place has been knocked down, but we have a lot of great places anyway. Then we found this lighthouse quilt, and I knew we had to do our own version of the barn quilt program, but this one with a theme. So I've been working with local businesses and parks to get barn quilt type squares put up. All of the Springfield quilt squares will come from the lighthouse quilt that Marler found and bear the image of a lighthouse. Blocks will be unveiled tomorrow at sites like Company, the Lighthouse, the Beacon Hotel, St. Michael's Cemetery, St. Michael's Ruin Garden, WSPR Historic Broadcast Park, Laurel Falls, the Springfield City Park Gazebo, Springfield Journal Building, Cedar Hospital Memorial AIDS Garden, the Springfield Pond, and the Lakeland Country Club. map with all locations at company and it's still not too late to be included. Information on adding a block is also available at company. Everyone else plan on following the lighthouse trail soon. This is Sharon Scott from WSPR reporting.